My name is Jamie Price. I was the visual effects supervisor on the A team. This is a reel of visual effects before and afters, as we like to call them, and uh, they show a little bit about how the work was done. This first shot is the establisher of the FOB, the forward operating base. As you can see from this original plate, there's a fairly large set set against a nice Vancouver background, which we transformed into a, a desert background with a full army base down below. And you can see here that all of the ground has been replaced. And in fact, the only thing that's real in this frame is the body of the chopper because we had to replace the rotor blades as well when we did the composite. This was for the scene where the uh, A-Team drives the truck into the Tigris River. Again, you can see here that there's very little background that was actually usable, and you can see how we separated the truck from the background by rotoscoping each detail on the truck. And once it was isolated, you can see how we added the background as a 3D map painting, created the wall and the surroundings, including the container, and there you can see the digital double of Hannibal. And then laying back in what we could of the background, and all of the small elements that make the actual impact look realistic. This is an all digital shot. Everything you see in the frame here was created on a computer, starting with the model of the Osprey. It's a fairly detailed wireframe that was then textured and given appropriate lighting and placed into an all digital background. The background was a, a matte painting for the distant landscape. And you can also see in a moment that uh, the bridge which is between the Osprey and the background was an actual 3D model, so we could get perspective change on that. It was all lit, textured, rendered, and animated in with the scene. The gun and all the projectiles and all the lighting effects were also added, including the, uh, the effects on the lens. And this is the reverse, what the Osprey is shooting at, also an all digital shot. In this case, the tunnel was modeled completely, as was the car, and then the Osprey that appears in the foreground. You can see all of the details, including the uh, impact points, on the explosion and also the explosion itself which was a combination of some practical pyrotechnics and also some digital fire and then each tracer and bullet round was also added in including the shell casings in the foreground and here's the final shot with all the details put together for this scene where the c-130 is taking off from the airbase we didn't actually have a C-130, so it had to be added entirely digitally. And we also couldn't uh, smash the canopies on the multi-million dollar fighter, so we did that digitally as well. So in each of these shots, we had to remove the canopies that existed, add in the digital ones that were broken, and then add in the plane, including all of the wing flex, all of the hydraulics, all of the various uh, uh, exhaust and details that made this scene look real. For the Commerce Bank scene, we had a number of tricky composites and some 3D. Here you can see how we combined some stage photography with some background stunt work on location, melded the two scenes, foreground and background, together into one finished shot, as you see here. This is an establishing shot. As you can see in the first part of the shot, there was absolutely no safe house there. We added that digitally. And to destroy that safe house, we created a one-fifth scale miniature, which we shot at high speed and blew up. We also shot an element of stunt doubles of the A-Team that we could use to have them running away from the explosion. Then the sky, the airplane, and then the foreground foliage as well was added in. In this shot, as the uh, seaplane approaches the freighter, we had to add the freighter. And in the course of adding the freighter and creating the wake, we decided we'd replace the ocean entirely as well. The final scene that takes place in Long Beach was an interesting blend of techniques. We had some blue screen photography, as you see here, combined with a digital background. We used photography from an actual dock location, but used it to create the digital background of the ship. Here, when the missile impacts the ship, you can see there was no ship in the original background. It was added digitally along with the missile. We also shot a quarter-scale explosion to use as an element for the impact of the missile. For this shot, the only thing real is Face, who's reduced and laid into the background. The surroundings are all digital, including simulations for the pyro and the smoke. And same for this shot. The foreground is real, but all of the ship and all the explosions are simulations and rendered digitally. So all the illumination of the smoke as the explosions go off is all done digitally. This is an interesting shot that was shot entirely on stage, and we added that background. So this was a great opportunity to take a piece shot on stage and put it out into the real world and add a lot of expanse and detail, as was this. Here you can see the ceiling of the stage, which we had to remove and replace with the digital background that uh, showed the dock environment, including 
uh, CG simulations of the fire and explosion and smoke. We also removed the safety rigging that was on uh, both the stuntman and the actor. There's actually a transition between the stuntman and an actor on that stage. Similarly with this shot, this container that falls uh, and uh, blocks BA was added digitally. Here you can see the gray shaded version of it. And then there's the final render. And for the end, we started with some photography with stand-in cranes and stand-in ship. You can see the cranes and the ship don't match here. And then we replaced that with a digital version of the aftermath with all of the spilled containers, including a fireboat that's uh, spraying some water onto the smoldering remains of the ship. And for the final view of it, same thing, digital cranes and a digital ship added in the background with some residual smoke. There's you can see what we started with. And then we removed some containers so we could see the ship a little better, and then we added in the cranes for the end of the shot.